Hey guys, Mr. Tolly here. I have a project today that I'm going to start on. And this is, let's see, U.S. Model 1917 Remington. Um, I'm going to do a little more research on it because I have to. Military service, there's a lot of markings on here that I'm going to need to chase down. This one's been sporterized. This cheek piece was actually cut cut into the stock and I, I don't know who did it this belongs to a friend of mine and it was his grandfather's gun so I don't know who did the stock work could have been grandpa I don't know um, and the stock is really it's rough finished <laughs> we'll say that um, so I think I'm gonna sand it smooth everything out a bit and just do a really nice restoration on this. It was his grandfather's who passed away recently. Uh, well, within a year. And uh, chambered in 30 out 6. The bolt, as you can see, really takes some effort to work. And uh, anyway, he wants me to do a little work on it. Fix it up nice. And I'm inclined to do that. He's a pretty nice guy. Helps me out when I need help at work, and I help him out. So, anyway, here we go. I'm going to do, I'm going to start just by taking the rifle apart. That's the only place I can start with. So, let's get it apart, and uh, we'll go over some, a few things. Alright, got the bolt out. I'm going to just kind of take this one piece at a time, because I'm not in any hurry. He just wants it nice, so that... Uh, Pretty much, I don't know if he's going to hunt with it anymore. Probably will. Uh, nobody remembers his grandpa fondly every time he does it. I know I do when I use my grandpa's gun. <clears throat> so, these are all the pieces from the bolt. I didn't do the disassembly on video. There's a lot of videos out there that show how to disassemble the uh, Remington bolt like this. Early bolt. This particular gun was uh, manufactured in 1918. So, it's been around a day or two. It's almost 100 years old. All the parts here are parkerized. They're not blued, but they're not left alone either. They're parkerized. But we have, probably won't see it on camera, we have some rust here on the bolt. And just in general, this, this is a ring that slides right here. This ring will slide back into this groove. I wanted to get the groove cleaned out good, so uh, rather than, and I think the ring is fine, but uh, that holds your extractor on. The extractor. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and just take my favorite thing to do um, for cleaning these is just to take some plain old gun oil. Have some have some hops gun oil. I like the little bottles because I can kind of get it and where I want it. And we just, uh, the grease and stuff that's on here is really sticky. So it's just old. Um, and if the oil and steel wool doesn't work, you now it should also get rid of that rust. Because it's not severe yet. I'm going to cover the whole bowl. This thing's been set aside and neglected for quite a while. That's why he asked me to take care of it and clean it up for him. I think he's got a couple other guns too that we'll get to eventually. So I'm just I'm not putting a lot of pressure here. I'm just kind of taking the steel wool and just kind of going over stuff. Now the rust is going to take a little more pressure, a little more time to work it out. Now, <laughs> in case you're wondering, I don't charge anything for this. A, he's a friend of mine. B. Uh, I 
just enjoy doing it. And granted, I've got enough of my own projects, but, you know, helping out a friend is always good. Show you how that rough spot turned out. <laughs> well, I think it was right in here somewhere. <laughs> but as you can see, a little bit of steel wool, a little bit of time takes that kind of stuff right off. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish cleaning this up. I'll reassemble it. If anybody really wants to see the disassembly of this bolt, leave me a comment as soon as you can. As long as I've got the gun, I will do the disassembly video if that's what you want. So that is going to be it for the time being. I'm going to clean this up. Back with you. Oh, there we go. Bolt is all back together. And uh, <clears throat> it really wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought I would find more crud and gunk inside. It was just all some dried grease. Uh, I did have to step up to ballastol to get it all loosened up, which puts me dangerously low on ballastol. <laughs> so I'm going to have to try to, I guess I'm going to have to try to order it online. Usually they have hazmat fees and crap attached to that, so it gets kind of expensive to do. But... <clears throat> There we go. The bolt is all back together. All the uh, moving parts are moving, well, <laughs> pretty free. Moving pretty good. So, on to the rest of the action. Get some of the parts off. Um, <clears throat> this is, there's a piece here that goes that holds your bolt in. I'll show you that later. Um, but there's some it's hard to see right here <laughs> we got quite a bit of little rust and it's just generally in pretty rough shape you look down the bore and you won't be able to see it maybe <laughs> you can't there you go you can see some of the light through there there is stuff in the bore. It looks like a spider built the web in there. So, I am going to spray some lube in there. Get the inside of the bore clean. And then we'll work on the outside. Whenever you clean a rifle barrel, you want to clean from the breech anytime you possibly can. So I'm going to grab me out a 30 caliber brush and scrub it out. And then I'm going to spray down the outside of the barrel and see if we can uh, get rid of some of this rust. We'll be back.
Well, got her done. The bolt works like it should now. Much easier. Much smoother. I know it's just gunk in there. I have left it kind of wet, I guess you'd call it. So it's kind of heavy on oil. Um, he hasn't gotten back to me. I don't know if he wants, to, wants me to do anything with the stock or not. He's pretty good with that kind of stuff too, so just let that for him. But for a uh, rifle made in 1918 that has been sporterized, um, I think it's a pretty good rifle. I will shoot it someday. <laughs> I might only get to put a couple rounds through it, but that's really all I need to do is to function test. So, there we go. The uh, U.S. model of 1917 Remington. Y'all stay safe. God bless. And have a fantastic rest of the day.